Let's begin. So standing in Pilates V, heels together, toes slightly turned out, arms out to the side, abdomen in and up, start circling your arms forward for eight counts. And circle back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and forward. Five, six, seven, eight, and back. We'll start to get the heart rates up. Six, seven, swing your legs up. Two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight. Feel like you're lifting from your core. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna cross. Two, three, four, five. You'll feel your obliques. Seven, eight. Get the heart rate up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide plies. Eight, seven, six, five. Nice. Connect into the inner thighs. Three, two, one little zip ups, eight, seven, four, and three, two, and one. We're gonna jump. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, great for the heart rate. Little plies. Two, three, four. I love those plyometric jumps. Six, Seven, eight, now a grand plie. Eight, and up. Seven, and up. Good for your balance. Six, and up. You have to use your core. Five, four, beautiful. Three, I'm breathing heavier. Two, once again, circle forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. So nice for the arms, really toning them and forward. If you think of a dancer's arms, they never really use weights. Nice, let's march it up. Seven, six, pick those knees up high. Four, three, two, one, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, one, sides, eight, cross it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now those wide plies, these are second position. Three, four, and you'll start to tone your inner thighs. And the inner thighs are really connected to the lower abs. Eight, nice, little zip ups. Up, two, three, four, and this is good for your feet and your arches. Six, seven, eight. Here's a good little cardio burst. It's like plyometrics. Great for shaping the legs and really getting the heart rate up. And if you vary the tempo, so good for the metabolism. Now let's slow it down, little ones. Two, three, four, five. I feel my blood flowing. <laughs> seven, eight. Here's our ground plies. Eight, seven, six. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the front of your mat. Cross one foot in front of the other. Find your genie arms. Start to lower. Take your hands down. Help yourself to the floor. Place your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. And you're going to C-curve back. You scoop out the lower abdomen as much as you can. Try and release your hands and just use your abs. From your abs, come up. Nice. Inhale, rock back. Go deep, find your abdominals, exhale, come up. So you wanna find that C curve, you wanna scoop out as much as you can, but you also wanna try and lengthen out of your low back, hold, and then climb a rope. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now to the side, open, seven, six, five. Notice if your hips have shifted. Three, two, one. Other side, eight, seven, six, Five, I can feel this in my waist. Three, two, one, come center and roll it all the way down onto your back. Take your hands behind your head, elbows wide, lift your chest, heels together, toes turn out like a frog. You're gonna press your heels away and then pull your knees in. As you press out through your heels, scoop your lower abdomen back and in. Nice, so legs go out, abdomen scoops in. So nice, one more time, out, press, lengthen your knees, and back, now turn parallel. 
press out for four, and in, squeeze, three, in, two, reach the back to your heels, one. Now you're gonna turn your heels out, toes in, press, and in, little pigeon toe, good, two, and in, keep your shoulders lifted, three, and in, last one, hold it out there, four, turn out, turn in, I know this is killer, turn out, turn in, turn out, turn in, one more, turn out, turn in, whew, and you're down. Just for a moment though, we're gonna start the hundreds. So let your knees fall into your hands so the low back is into the mat, lift your head and neck, reach your arms long, legs at tabletop, or extend your legs all the way out, Pilates B. Start pumping the arms five times on an inhale, five times on an exhale. Excellent, inhale, exhale two. Inhale three, and exhale. Keep your shoulders soft, work the triceps. Inhale four, and exhale. Scoop the lower belly to the spine. Inhale five, and exhale. Try and lengthen through your waist. Inhale for six, drop your tailbone. Exhale, seven, keep pumping. If you need to bend your knees at any point, you can. Inhale, eight. Excellent, if you wanna challenge yourself, lower your legs. Inhale, nine, reach to the toes. Exhale, last one. You're doing great, and exhale. And lower down for a moment. We're gonna do single leg circles, and I'm gonna make it a lot harder. So stretch your legs up to the ceiling. If your neck bothers you, I want you to keep your hands behind your head. Otherwise, stretch your arms long, keep your shoulders soft. Lower one leg down about 45 degrees. Do not let your hips shift and circle the top leg. One, two, three, four. Reverse the direction. Four, three, steady hips. Two, strong core. One, we're gonna switch. Lower the leg, keep your hips so stable. Balance that cup of tea on the low belly. Two, three, four, reverse it. Four, Three, two, lengthen through your sides. One, now lower both legs down, hover, and then lower it all the way down to the mat. We're gonna do the roll up. Shoulder soft, ribs in, inhale up. Hollow your belly, exhale, scoop and reach, but keep your shoulders soft. Inhale, lower. Exhale, arms back, but try to keep the ribs from lifting, so don't pop the ribs out, keep them down. Inhale up. Hollow, try not to grip through the thighs. Exhale, reach. Really scoop through the belly. Inhale, lower. This is one of the most effective for really getting every part of your abdominals. Inhale, up. Good, exhale, reach. Working the deep abdominals, the sides. Lower and back. Last time, inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Really hollow, soften the shoulders. Scoop the belly back into the spine. It's an excellent massage for the back. It feels so good. And then come up to sit tall. Now engage those front ribs. Lift your arms up. As you lift your arms, keep the tops of the shoulders from lifting. It's challenging, but so great. And it's such a nice way to strengthen through the low back. Press your palms together. Twist to the side. And take little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, look behind you, two, one. Come center, lift an inch taller, keep your shoulders soft, twist back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come center, take your hands forward like a shotgun. I call this my Charlie's Angels exercise. Take your legs up to a tabletop position. Aim your gun, do not let your gun move if possible as your legs drop to the right, down, around, and up and then the opposite direction, and lift. And one more time, over, yeah, very good. Last time, and lift. Keep your legs where they are. Start to lower down onto your back, just to the bottom rim of your shoulder blade. Take your hands behind your head. Keep your head and neck lifted, nice. Now you're gonna take right hand to right foot, left hand to the inner knee. So it's same hand to foot, opposite hand to knee, and then you're gonna switch. Two, three, 
four, good. Reach that bottom leg. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do a double leg pull. So both hands to feet, reach long, circle the arms around and pull. Inhale, reach. Circle, pull. Keep the waist long. Inhale, reach. Circle, pull. Shoulders soft. Try not to drop your neck. Lift. Circle, pull. Six. Reach. Seven. This series is going to build stamina. That's it. And then kick. One, one. Switch. Two. Switch. Three. Switch. Four. Switch. Excellent. Little pulses. Six. Pulse, pulse. Seven. Pulse, pulse. Without the pulse, just kick. Two, three, four. Good. Look to your belly. Six. Reach to your legs. Seven, eight. Hold one leg up there for eight counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. You can do it. Dig deep. Opposite. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach to your bottom leg as well. Three, two, one, you're doing so good if you can, stay up. Take your hands behind your head. Lower your legs and lift. Heels together, toes slightly turned out. Lower and lift two. Really squeeze down below. Lower, lift three. I'd rather you keep your shoulders lifted and not lower your legs so far. Four, so you're just getting that little tiny area. Five, so nice. Six, you're almost there, you can do it. Seven. Bring it all down into your core. Eight, and now finish with the crisscross. Twist, two, three. Try and keep those shoulders lifted. Four, five. Look to your back elbow, it's harder. Six, seven, eight. Yes, you made it. Hug in your knees, rock up, place your feet. Come to stand without your hands if you can. And let's do a second round of cardio. Heels together, toes slightly turned out, and circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. Two, three, four, five, six. Here comes our knee, swings up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Getting some obliques. And plie. Two, three. Four, keep your abs in, five, six, ribs soft, seven, eight, little releves up, two, three, four, five, six, this is the zip up, here's our big burst, two, three, four, five, six, seven, little plies, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, grand plies, eight. Seven, up, six, good job. Five, stay connected. Four, three, feels good to move upright. Two, after being on our back. One, one more time. Forward, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. Doing so good, lift it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, side to side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set of plies. Second position. Three, four. Feel your thighs working. Five. Squeeze the glutes. Seven, eight. Now we work through the arches. Up. Two. We get the calf muscles. Three, four. Tops the shoulders. Six, seven, eight. And then this really gets the glutes. Three, four, and get that heart rate up. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little please. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ground plies. Eight, up, seven, up, six, five. Your posture looks great. Four, try not to bend forward from your waist. Two, stay lifted, and one. Nice, let's bring it back to the floor. Find your genie arms, lower it down. Ooh, I feel my heart rate up. Have a seat, bring your feet together, knees together, and roll down onto your back. We're gonna do a major butt blaster. 
Relax your arms, shoulders down away from the ears, bridge your hips up. Stay really connected to your core and extend one leg long. Try and keep your hips level. We're gonna kick eight, seven, six. Ground down through that inner foot. Four, very nice. Three, two, keep the leg up on one, drop the hips and press. Eight, seven, six, five, nice. Four, three, two, feel the back of that thigh working. One, now you're gonna combine it. So you kick out, you lift, you lower. Two, up and down. Three, up and down. Really reach, four, that's it. Five, keep your abs in. Six, seven, oh, feel the burn. Stay out on eight, open, close. Eight, inner outer thigh. Seven, keep your hips level. Six, five, this is so great for shaping the butt. Four, three, two, and one, beautiful, bring it in, lower it down, cross one foot on top of the other, and we're gonna pull in two. On the third one, you're gonna swing your legs up, switch your ankles, and lower down. Good, do it again, one, two, three, lift, and lower, nice. One, two, three, up, and switch, last time, up, two, three, lift, and bring it down. We're gonna do the other side. So bridge your hips up, lengthen your low back, keep your ribs down, extend your leg long, lengthen it even further, and kick. Eight, seven, six, very nice. Five, four, keep that leg long. Three, two, hold it up on one, down and up, touch the floor, lift. Two, three, squeeze the glutes. Four, very nice, five and six, seven, stay up, eight, combine it, out, up, down, press, two, and down, three, and down, four, up, lower, press, five, up, good, six, up, seven, last one, stay out on eight, open, close, eight, Seven, again, keep your hips level. Six, keep your abs in. Five, don't let that bottom leg fall out. Three, inner outer thighs, squeeze. One, good job, release the foot, lower down. This time we're gonna thrust both legs up to the ceiling. Really getting lower abdominals. Press up, one, two, three, five. You'll use the back of the arms a little bit. Six, but try and rely more on your lower powerhouse. Stay up eight. Now we're gonna twist it. Eight. Good, seven. Getting the waist. Six. Five, squeeze. Four, that love handle area. Three, two, you're doing great. One, now just keep the legs on the floor and shimmy. Two, three, four, five, six. This one's really effective. You'd never realize it. Seven and eight, heels together, parallel, arms out to your side. We're gonna do a tick-tock. So the legs drop to one side, like a tick-tock clock. Try and keep your heels even. Squeeze the waist, come to center. Drop over, lengthen, reach, and lift, perfect. Drop over, keep those heels together, keep the back arm pressing, and lift. Try and keep the shoulders down, over, that's it, squeeze the waist and lift, very good. Now we're gonna drop over to the side and we're gonna go for a little walk. So walk your feet back and forth. Five, four, three, two, one. Now squeeze, hold it out there, oh, feel the burn, lift. Nice, drop to the other side, keep the arms down, walk it out. Six and seven and eight, squeeze, hold and lift, very good. Heels together, toes slightly turned out. Your hands can be by your sides or under your low back if you feel this in your low back or for an extra challenge, cross them over like a mummy. Now your inner ankles are gonna beat, so it's little inner heel beats. As you're beating your inner ankles, start to lower your legs towards the floor. Yeah, that's it, keep your lower abs in, lower back to the floor, 
and then beat your heels as you lift your legs. Let's try that two more times. Yes, very, very good. Going maybe a little lower, but remember, keep the low back on the floor. You don't want to feel this in your low back. So really engage. Squeeze the lower abdomen. Squeeze the inner thighs. Work the inner thighs. And bring the legs back up. Very nice. Place your feet down. Big toes touching, heels together, inner thighs together. Stretch your arms back. We're going to do a single leg series. So stretch your legs long. Single leg teaser, you lift up. You reach, lengthen out of your low back. And you lower down. Arms back. Lift up. Reach, lengthen out of your low back, soften your shoulders, good. And lower, lift up, reach, and lower. Let's add a twist, come up, twist towards your straight leg, come center, and lower. Lift, twist, center. One more time, lift, as you twist, keep your legs steady center and lower try the other side the other secret is the further away the foot is the easier it is so as you get more advanced you bring your foot in closer and then you lift and then you lower and you can keep challenging yourself every day lift up and again remember squeeze those inner thighs don't let your legs move twist from your waist not your hips center and lower. Let's finish it off with double leg teasers. So stretch your legs long. Here we go. Lift up. Very good. And lower down. Inhale. Lift up. And lower down. Lift up. Control it. Upper body, lower body. Release. Last time. Up. Reach. Reach. And lower. Now let's add the twist, we're almost there. Just a little challenge, lift up, twist one side, twist to the other side, come center, and lower. Last time, lift up, engage your pelvic floor, twist to the other side, center, twist, center reach, and lower down, excellent work. Hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock yourself up to sit. Give yourself a big hand, that is with your feet. <laughs> so lift your feet up and we're gonna clap. One, two, three. Rock back and clap. This is called the seal. Come up and clap. Rock back and clap. Up and clap for three. Back and clap for three. Up and clap for three. When you rock back, release your feet. Try and come up to stand again without your hands. You have a little bit of momentum that time, so that could help. And then find yourself back in your Pilates V. Lift to the balls of your feet. Engage your inner powerhouse. Try looking to one side. Center. To the other side. Center. To the floor. To the ceiling. And release. That was excellent work. Good job, take a deep breath in, and let it all go. So let's get our heart rates up. We're gonna start with a Pilates jumping jack. Heels together, toes slightly turned out in your Pilates V. Take your arms out like a saguaro cactus. And as you jump out, keep the shoulder blades down and then pull back to first position. So you're gonna go out and in. Good, excellent, really, Opening up now, and then you can go a little further, but keep the shoulder blades down the back. Nice, let's do 10 more. Eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three. On the last one, we're gonna hold out there. Stay wide, hands behind the head, little sumos. So try and touch the elbow to the knee, really working your waist. Excellent, I really feel these. Six, seven, really go for it. Eight, keep your hips low. Nine, 10, you're almost there. 11, 12, 13, excellent. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20. We're going to box it out. So you work through the waist. Really punch it. Feel the twist. Nice. Great way to get the heart rates up. Working the upper body, working the arms. Stay low in your hips. Twist from the waist. Punch it out. You're almost there. Keep going. And let's do some plies. It's out and in. Out and in. Good. Three. Go low. Four. Five. Six. Keep your abs in. Seven. Shoulders soft. Eight. Press through the heels. Nine. Squeeze the glutes. Ten. And jump in second position. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Jump it in and out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we're going to lunge it. One. Two. Good. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay connected to your core. Nine. And we're going to do everything one more time. So the Pilates jumping jacks. Really push it out. Nice. Getting the heart rate up. I love it. Beautiful. We're almost there. Keep going. You got it. Pretty soon we're gonna do our sumos and we might do them a little faster this time. So stay open and then go side to side. Fast, three. Yeah, keeping the heart rate up, good. Beautiful. Nice, excellent, you're almost there. Keep the hips low, work through the waist. Yes, nice. Okay, get ready, we're gonna start to box it out. And punch it, one, two. Four, six, eight. Really imagine someone out there. Work through your core. You know, Joseph Pilates actually began training boxers. Those are some of his first clients. And we're gonna do some plies. It's over. Two, three, four. Very nice. Again, squeeze the glutes. Work through the core. Two more. Now try and jump from your inner thighs and from your lower abdominals. So really lift up. Up, 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 landing softly, good. You're almost there. And then we're gonna go in and out. So it's first, second. First position, second. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's finish with our lunges. Open, close. Two, three, tight stomachs, five, Six, seven, eight, keep the focus. Good, you're doing excellent. And you made it to your cardio, good job. Come up to the balls of your feet. Keep your core in, try and lower. Try and lift, stay off your heels. Try and lower. And lift, this is great. Lower. On the last one, you can bring your knees to the floor. If you need your hands to help you, you can. Place the tops of the feet down, lean back, draw your lower abs in, and press it forward. Really feel your quads working, your lower abs. Lean back. And lift from your core, good job. Lean back, you can do it. Hold, and lift. Now press your hands back, keep your ribs knit. Look to the side, center, other side, center. Let your arms float forward. So you're gonna press back through the triceps, but keep the ribs engaged. Stomach in, tailbone under, look. And look. Now little presses back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now crisscross the arms. Really good for your triceps. Back of the arms. Nice. Again, a very effective exercise. You wouldn't even realize it. You know, you can do these standing in line at the grocery store. <laughs> Press back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and crisscross. So now you feel your triceps all nice and warm. Come down onto all fours. Keep the arms sucking into the bones. Tuck your toes under, lift from your lower abs, and kick in and out. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep your body stable. Three, two, one. Other side. 
eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four, three, two, one. Lower your knees. Bring one leg in. Kick back. Little tricep and push. In, out, lower. Beautiful. Three, lower. Try and touch your nose to your knees. Squeeze your abs. And lower. Let's switch to the other side. In, back, lower, press. Two, back, lower, squeeze. Three, back, lower, squeeze. Four, back, lower, squeeze. Drop the knee, take your leg back, stretch your arm forward. Hold, tighten your core. Press into the bottom hand, upside down crunch. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to open and close. Eight, seven, working the waist. Good. Six, keep the rest of the body stable. Five, really open. Four, nice. Three, two, stay out on one. Take your hand back in line with your hip. Reach your leg out, keep your abs in, lengthen through your side. You can take your hand behind your head or you can stretch your arm up to the ceiling. So you want to kick the leg forward twice, reach it back once. But try not to move your hips, forward twice, back once. Keep your core strong, forward twice, back once, forward twice, back once. Now bicycle it, forward, back, forward, back, forward, Back, forward, stay. Kick, forward, bicycle, back. Two, remember to glue in the ribs. Three, keep the stomach held. Four, good work. Kick it forward, up and down. Two, three, four. Feel like your leg is being pulled out of your hip socket. So put long, eight. So it's those long lean muscles that we want to get. Up and back, good. Stay lifted out of your lower arm to the side. So working all angles of the glutes. Very good. You're almost there. I know it's burning for me too. Keep it up there. Tiny circles forward. Tiny circles back. Try and keep your top arm extended. And let it go. Nice. Press through that foot so you get a good stretch. Take the bottom foot under. You're going to work your waist and your arm. If this is too much on your wrist, put your foot in front or come down onto your elbow. Now we're gonna do a twist. Reach under, and look up. Feeling the underside working. Under, and lift. Getting strength in your arm and your core. Under, and lift. It looks awesome. Under, and stay. Now you're gonna come down, floating mermaid. Look to your hand, lift, reach, and lower. Working so many muscle groups at once. Really firing up that metabolism. You're doing wonderful. Two more. Reach. And it'll work through your waist. And reach. And lower. Wonderful work. Come into a little sit, seated position. You're going to take your foot behind you. Stretch your arms out in front of you. I call these ballerina butt lifts. Back legs lifting and lower. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now press eight, seven, six. Five, four, three. Feel your low back, love handles, and butt one. Good job. Come onto your knees. One more little cardio blast. So stretch your legs back into a plank pose. We're going to jump in and out. One, two, three, four. Use your core. Six, seven, eight. Try to line lightly. And one. Open eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Running man's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little ski jumps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Come on to all fours. We're going to do the other side. Stretch your leg back, stretch your arm forward, and hold here. Connect to your core, 
Connect your lower abs. Now upside down crunch. Two. Really scoop from your belly. Three. Four. You're doing great. Five. Reach. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold it out there. Open and close. Eight. Seven. Keep everything else stable. Six. Work your waist. Five. Four. Get that leg as forward as you can. Three. Good. Stay out there on one. Take your hand back. We're going to do our side leg kick series. So stretch your leg out. Feel as if it's being pulled out of your hip socket. And we're going to brush it forward twice and back once. Now stay lifted out of your lower arm twice, back once. Keep your ribs together, kick forward, kick back, twice forward, boom, boom. Stay back, now bicycle it. One, back, two, back. Shoulder soft, you can lift your arm up. Three, four, opposite, four, press. Three, keep your abs in, two, one, perfect. Bring it forward, up and down. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach it long. Four, three. Pull your abdomen in. One, reach it back. Eight, seven. Working all areas of the leg. And working every angle of the glute. Good. Four, shoulders soft. Ribs in, stomach tight. Out to the side. Two, you even feel the supporting leg working. Five. Six, you're almost there, you're doing great. Stay up there, tiny circles forward. Tiny circles back. Whew, feel my thighs. Take your leg down, press through that foot, take your opposite leg under. And again, remember you can always put the foot flat if you need to, or you can come onto your forearm. So we're gonna twist under and lift. Twist under and lift. Twist three, and lift. Twist four, and lift. Very good, working that side. Now we're gonna do a floating mermaid. So you lift, reach, working the underarm, and lower, working the underside of the waist. Lift, reach, and lower. Full body moves like this, really rev up the metabolism. Reach, come down, and lengthen it out. And bring it down. Good work. You're going to bring your legs back. Little ballerina butt lifts. Take your arms out in front of you. Engage your lower back. One, two, three, four. That hard to reach lower love handle area. Back of the glute. These are so effective. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Such good work. Let's lie down on our stomachs. Let's work the back of our body. So it's just as important to work the back body as it is the front. We don't see ourselves from behind, so we don't think about it enough. Stretch your arms and legs long. We're gonna do a Superman. Tuck your tailbone slightly back so your pubic bone is on the floor and engage your lower abdomen, almost like you have a rotten egg under your belly. Lift one arm and leg and lower. And then switch and lower. Switch and lower. Switch and lower. Four more. Five. Lower. Six. Feel that leg reaching long. Seven. Eight. Beautiful. Now lift it all up and go for a swim. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Lengthen through the thighs. Two and one. One more set. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one, and release it down. Now take your arms out to the side like that cactus shape that we did in our jumping jacks. Flex your feet, press your heels, lift your knees up off the floor so you're working your glutes at the same time. Lift your back, stretch your arms up. Now the backs of the arms are gonna press to the ceiling. Two, great. Three, really good for your posture. Four, working the backs of the arms. Five, between the shoulder blades, six, Seven, eight, excellent. Now shrug them back. Eight, seven, six, five. Working the entire back. Three, two, one. Now take your arms forward. We're gonna do a full swan so you can release your toes. 
You're gonna lift it all the way up. Feel that pulling from underneath the shoulder blades and bring it forward. Inhale up, lengthen, lengthen through the body. Gorgeous. And lower. Inhale up, reach. And lower. One more time, reach. Beautiful. And bring it down. Take your arms out to the sides. This is one of the most effective exercises for the arms, back of the arms. So we're gonna lift and lower. Little airplane wings. Two, three, four, Five, remember to keep your abs in even when you're laying on your stomach. Seven, stay up there and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, you can relax your head. One, two, three, tops of the shoulders down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse it out. Eight, you're doing wonderful. But it's so great. It's such a good workout for the backs of the arms. And then lower and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four. Tops the shoulders down, three, you're doing great. Two, one, stay in pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last set, you can do it. One, two, really feeling that burn. Four, good, fatiguing the back of the muscles. Six, seven, eight, now pulse it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Make a little pillow for your hands so you can rest your forehead. Take your inner thighs together, squeeze the knees tight, flex through the feet, push the heels up to the ceiling so that the knees are off the floor, and then hamstring curl. Reach long, squeeze, pull in. Reach long and squeeze those inner thighs. Don't let the knees move apart from each other. Squeeze it out, keep the knees off the floor, lengthen it in. Squeeze it out. Think how great the backs of your thighs are going to look. Squeeze it in. Turn your toes out so you're in frog position. And four more. Out. Reach. Pull in. Work those hamstrings. Out. Reach. Lengthen. Pull in. Out. Reach. Shaping your butt. Pull in. Good job. Out. Reach. Pull it in and just press it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze it out. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, now press it back, lift it up, stretch your hands back. Remember the heel beats that we did as we lowered our legs when we laid on our back? It's the same idea. So inner heels are kicking together, and you're gonna beat two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. You're doing excellent, and you're almost there. And relax, so nice. Let's take a cobra stretch, put your hands by your heart, lift your chest. Cut your breath, relax your shoulders. Try not to lock your elbows or press the shoulders up to the ears. And soften them down and back. Nice, now keep your lower abdomen held in so your lower back is protected. And then you can lower down. You'll take your elbows to where your hands are. Flex your feet, lift your kneecaps. Scoop your lower abs in first to lift yourself up into a plank. And hold, excellent. Start to build up to like a minute hold in plank. Now press down into your inner arms, scoop your low belly, press back through your heels. It's like there's a tug of war going on between your hands and your feet. And your low abs are coming up off the ground. Yeah, you're doing excellent. See if you can hold a couple more seconds. Yes, lengthen, good job. And lower it down. Little variation, come back up. And then a running man. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, without your hips moving. Good. That's a fun little challenge. There's one more variation we can try. You lift up and then you twist it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So good. So let's press it back. Downward facing dog, we're going to do a series of Pilates push ups. So you come into your Pilates V stance with your feet, you walk your hands back, scoop your belly in, take your arms up, inhale, and then exhale, round yourself forward. Now we're going to walk it out. If this is tough for you, bring your knees down to the floor and then do your push-up. Otherwise, keep your knees lifted, lower, press, and walk it back. 
So I want you to keep your abs engaged the whole time. Lift it up. You're gonna go down up one, down up two, and then walk it back as if your abs are pulling you up. Lift. Round forward. Walk it out. And we're gonna do three this time. Keep your hips a little higher. Keep your abs in. Two, one. Walk it back. Two, one. Walk it back. You just have one more left. You're doing so good. Lift it up. Think how great your arms are gonna look after this workout. Walk it out. And you're just gonna do one. Press. Walk it back. Round it up, really scoop it out from your center. Lift the arms up. And you're done. Great job. Okay, let's get warmed up. Come to the front of your mat, cross one foot in front of the other, take your arms like a genie in front of you, engage your lower abdominal muscles and start to lower down. So it gets tricky. There's a certain point where you kind of need to use your hands. You can practice trying not to use your hands, but just in case, put your hands back there. Place your feet about hip distance apart and then slowly lower down onto your back and feel your lower back just firm into the mat. So try not to overarch or tuck, but find a nice neutral pelvis. Take your hands alongside your waist and we're just gonna get connected to our breath. So inhale through your nose. As you exhale, open the mouth and just let all the tension out of the body. Inhale through your nose, try and fill up more of the back of your ribs and the back of your lungs. And as you exhale, let your lower abdominals start to sink into the spine. One more time, inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Almost imagine you're trying to fog up a piece of glass. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And as you let out that silent whispered ha, you feel your lower abdominals engaging, coming down into your lower back. Now let your head fall to one side and just walk your hand away so that you can get some nice length in the top of the shoulder and the neck. Come through center, drop the head to the other side, and walk the fingers away. Again, just creating space in the neck. Come to center, and then with that nice long neck, start to lift your chin and chest. Almost feel like you're lifting from your chest and from your lower abdominals so that you don't strain your neck. And then lower the head and neck back down. That's often a common complaint is feeling tension in the neck. So try and imagine that the back of the neck is being pulled long and see how much you can relax in front and let the part of the abdominals, this whole front area, lift you up. And then exhale, lower down. Great work, one more time. Inhale and then exhale, chin to chest, gaze down to the abdominals, lengthen and exhale, lower back down. Now we're gonna release the arms. So take your arms up, try and relax the tops of the shoulders. Take the arms back and then circle them down and around like a snow angel. Inhale the arms up. As the arms go back, try not to let your ribs pop up. So you wanna keep your ribs down and then circle the arms around, much better. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, circle the arms down and around. And then we're gonna reverse it. So reverse the arms out, around, and then pull your arms forward. Inhale, the arms open. As you exhale, engage the abs even more, pulling the arms down. Inhale, reach the arms around, keep the tops of the shoulders released, and exhale, press the hands forward. Now, let your lower back arch quite a bit, so you have a lot of space in your lower back. And then exhale, curl, tuck in your pelvis, so the lower part of your hips lift off the floor. Inhale, arch and exhale round. So this feels good to warm up the pelvis, but you don't want to be at either extreme during your practice. So you can find the opposites and then try and neutralize it. So find that place right between the arch and the tuck. It's like you could balance a cup of hot tea on your lower belly. 
You want to keep that very nice and held as you lift your toes up to a tabletop position. Take your arms up in the air as well, and we're going to do the bug so we can find a stable center. One arm reaches back as the opposite toes touch, and then come to center. Try not to move the other arm or leg. That's where you'll find your stabilization and come center. It's tougher than it looks. Switch, come to center, switch, come to center, switch, then come to center. Good, so that's good for stabilizing, reach and center. Really good for the low back too, reach and center. So make sure you're staying really solid in your core and center, good, reach and lift. Don't let the opposite arm or leg move, reach and lift one more time. Reach and center, reach. And stay with the legs, take your hands down by your waist, little toe taps, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now place both feet flat on the floor, and we'll do a floating bridge, warming up the spine. Inhale, reach, and exhale, lower, upper back, middle back. Inhale, take your feet up, and then exhale, rock to sit, using your abdominals. Inhale, lengthen, lift out of your low back, keep your shoulders soft, and exhale, C-curve, all the way down. Your feet need to slide in a little bit. Inhale, bridge up. Exhale, lower down. I love to do this before I go to bed at night. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, rock to sit. It's like rocking a baby. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, nice. One more time. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, hips lower. Inhale, knees and feet lift. Exhale, rock up. Inhale, lengthen, get all that nice space in your spine. And then find a nice comfortable seat. So again, working on keeping those ribs nice and contained, lower abdomen drawn in and up, and shoulders soft. You're gonna open the arms out to the sides, elbows slightly lifted, but don't let the ribs pop, keep them connected. And then squeeze and gather them in even more and grow an inch taller. Nice, inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze as if the crown of the head's lifting even taller, lengthen out of your low back. Inhale, open. Engage the lower abdominals. Exhale, squeeze and find that connection to your core. So nice. Let it go. Just opening up the hips, opening up the chest. Inhale, back. Forward and up. So nice. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, forward and up. Opening the spine one more time. Back forward and lift. Beautiful work. Bring the feet together, knees slightly apart, stretch your hands forward. Work on trying to stand up without your hands. I know that's very difficult and it took me a long time to get to. Otherwise, use your hands to help you up. Eventually, you'll be able to do that just in the strength of your core. Now you're all warmed up. Now let's challenge those abs. Come to the front of your mat, place one foot in front of the other, find your genie arms, Draw in your core muscles, start to lower down. Try and come to sit without using your hands. Control it if you need to put your hands down. Place your feet together, squeeze your inner thighs. Really find that connection to your lower abdominal muscles. Find your C curve, slightly arch back, but then lengthen through the sides of your waist. Interlace your hands, we're gonna do a row series. So press forward, two, three, four. Shoulders down, stomach in, two, one, now biceps, squeeze. Two, three, four. Keep the stomachs in, good. Side waist, long, now it's a V. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful, sculpting the back, the chest. Seven and eight. Now we're gonna go side to side. So cross your ankles, drop your knees to one side, twist to the opposite and press. Eight, seven, six. Getting into those obliques. Good, shoulders soft. Two. One, now biceps, eight, seven, six. Remember to relax the shoulders, work from your core. Good, now V it, eight, seven, six, five. As you get more advanced, maybe you'll add little weights. Two, and one. Let's try the other side. Cross your ankles, drop your knees, engage your lower core, twist, and go for it. Eight, seven, you're almost there, six, five. Think how great your waist will look, three, two, one, biceps, eight, seven, shoulders soft. Keep breathing, keep twisting it even further. Now it's V, two, three, four, you're doing great. Five, six, 
seven, and eight. Good work. Bring your knees together, lower onto your back. Let your tailbone stay steady. Press your knees into your hands, hands into your knees. So it's like an isometric contraction. You're really gonna start to feel this shaking in the abs, so push. Push your hands, press your knees. So hands pushing the knees, knees pressing the hands. Whoo, I'm feeling it. Breathe in. As you exhale, really go for it. Press those knees into the hands, press the hands into the knees. Try and hold, 10 more seconds. You can do it. You're doing awesome. Really squeeze it out and relax it down. Lengthen your legs up to the ceiling. We're going to do an advanced corkscrew. Heels are together, toes are slightly turned out, your Pilates V. Legs start to circle around, down, and then as you go over, twist, lift your hips, come into a jackknife, and then slowly lower down, one vertebra at a time. Really controlling from your core muscles. Excellent. Go in the opposite direction, circle, twist. Beautiful lift, working your low back, sides, and slowly lower. Backs of the arms, so we're circling around, down, over, squeeze, lift, and lower. Complete body exercise, so you're really working every part of your body, getting into your back, your thighs, your waist, your arms, excellent. And then slowly with control, lower your legs down, keeping your core in, keeping the low back pressing, and then release. Now engage your pelvic floor, feet about hip distance apart. Take your hands behind your head, we're gonna do the neck pull. Keeping the elbows wide and the shoulders down, you're gonna lift up. Now, if this is challenging at this point, take your hands behind your thighs, help yourself all the way up, then replace your hands. Pitch forward at an angle, lengthening out of your low back. Inhale, start to angle it back. Lengthen your waist, and then draw your core in and come all the way down. So inhale, lift. Lengthen up. Oh, that was great. Pitch it forward. Start to hinge it back. Soften your ribs, drop your shoulders. Scoop it in and lower it down. One more time, lift, squeeze. Excellent, forward. Now you're gonna start to hinge it back. You're gonna find your core, and then you're gonna hinge it forward. You're gonna hinge it back and take a little twist. Reach, come center, hinge back, twist, reach. Up and center, one more time, come back. Twist, reach for that outer corner of your mat. Center, back, shoulders soft, ribs in, twist. And center, last little challenge. Come back, twist, take it all the way down. So this is around the world, onto your back, over to your side, squeeze it up, and center. Oh, good job, twist, lower, back, side, squeeze, really go for it, yes, and come up. Release your hands, place your feet together, take your hands forward, try and lift to stand without the use of your hands. Great challenge. You did an awesome job. Let's cool down. Come to the front of your mat one last time. Genie arms, lower. Have a seat. And then gently lie back. Place your feet flat, hip distance apart, shoulders nice and relaxed. Inhale your leg up. Exhale, let your knee open. Inhale the leg up and exhale the foot down. Good, up and open, lift up and lower. It's like a little marching drill, up, cross it open, let the hip release, up and down. Other side, it's up and open, lift and step. One more time, lift it up, open it up and stay. Take the hands to the tops of the thighs and press the tops of the thighs away. Create some space in your hip sockets. Now thread the needle. You can take your hands underneath and hold the back of the thigh, or you can hold the top of the knee. Keep the wrinkles out of the ankle and the foot so that you're getting into the hip very safely. And you can gently press that knee away if you'd like to. You'll feel that stretch here after we worked our glutes very well. This feels so nice. 
Just breathe, soften the shoulders. And then place the foot down, keep this leg configuration, and walk the bottom foot all the way over to the side, and then drop both legs to the opposite side. So now you're getting a stretch in the front of the hip flexor, front of the thigh, feels excellent. You could even take the same arm back and get more of a stretch. And it's so easy to get the tightness in the hip flexors, especially because we sit so much. Come back to center. And then you're gonna take both hands under this thigh, and I call these little flippy floppies, where you just let the leg flop. Circle it around, loosen up that knee. In the other direction, good. And then extend and lift, and release. Lift up, release. Lift up, release. Lift and stay, stretch through the back of the hamstring. Now you can stay with the bottom foot on the floor or you can extend the leg long. Just depends on how flexible you are. You never wanna push a stretch, just breathe into it. So again, try and keep the outer upper thigh pressing away from you and then draw it in, breathe through the nose, lengthen through the hamstring. You can point and flex through the foot if you'd like to. And then we're gonna bend the knee in and take it across into a twist. So good. So bend that knee across as far as you can. Stretch through the waist, the hip, the lower back, shoulders. Nice. You'll feel it in your low back, your side, your hip. I love this twist. Remember to breathe, soften the shoulders. And then come back to center. Place the foot on the floor. And then lift the opposite leg up. Cross it over, ankle the knee, and create some space in the top of the thighs. So press the top of the thighs away, and then thread the needle. Pull that bottom knee in, relax the shoulders. Again, try and take the wrinkles out of the top ankle. And if you want to gently press that knee away to go deeper into the hip socket, you can. Remember the shoulders, keep them nice and relaxed. So don't strain in the arms if you need to make the stretch deeper. You can just, you know, relax. That's it. Place your foot down. Walk the bottom foot over. Drop both knees in the opposite direction. Feel that stretch in your quadricep, your hip flexor, your waist. Relax the arm back if you want to go deeper. I love doing this at night before I go to bed. It's such a great way to release all that hip flexor energy too because in the Pilates work sometimes we we bunch there we tighten there good come back to center slip your hands under the thigh and just let the leg circle around a couple times in one direction and the other direction little flippy floppy as I call these and then lift and release lift and release Good, lift and release. Lift and stay, stretch the hamstring out. Try and keep your hips down and try and keep that upper outer thigh released away from the top of the hip. And then gently pull the leg in, very good. I recommend holding the fleshy part of your thigh, so either behind the hamstring or maybe behind your calf. You don't wanna pull on the knee joint and again, don't overstretch, just relax and breathe. It should feel good. And then bend your knee in, cross it over for a twist. Look off in the opposite direction. Lengthen through your shoulders, lengthen through your back. Very good. Come back onto your back. And let's hug our knees in. Rock up to sit. Find a comfortable seat. Relax your hands on your knees. You did an incredible job. Great work. Our abdominal muscles are endurance muscles, so they can be worked throughout your entire day. Practice gently drawing your abdominals in and up towards your heart center, and then softening your ribs back and down. You can engage your abs when you sit by imagining there's a seat belt coming across from hip rim to hip rim so as you engage the lower abdominals, tighten that seat belt and draw your abs in towards your spine. When you're seated at work, 
you can practice lifting one foot at a time from your lower abdominals. You could do this while you're on a flight as well. Soften your shoulders, breathe through the nose, and then engage your powerhouse and lift your legs from your core. You can always throw in some Pilates exercises no matter what you're doing. Try standing in a Pilates V stance when you're ironing your clothes or washing your dishes or even at the grocery store and do little heel raises. It's great for your calf muscles and you'll still feel connected to your lower abdominals and core. I like to imagine sometimes that I'm wearing a corset and that it's tightening around the front of my ribs. And this will help bring your middle abdominals in and then it will also help you lengthen through your back body. So the more you corset the front ribs or tie these front ribs together, the more length and lift you can get out of your lower back. It feels so good to take a twist throughout the day, to stretch your sides and lower back, detoxify your internal organs, and also tone and tighten your waist. So if you're at work or if you're seated, you can use the back of the chair to help you twist around gently. Remember to keep your abdominals in and up, and then twist to your sides. Come center and go to the other side. And you can also do this standing, placing your hand against a wall and then walking away from it. Try connecting to your powerhouse before a meal. This way you can really connect to your stomach region and be mindful of what you're eating. You can eat more slowly and fill your core with nourishing foods. Connect to your powerhouse before you go to bed at night. Place your hands on your belly and take big breaths in and out, feeling your belly rise and fall. You have to let this region relax and really be thankful for it in order to put it through all its hard work. 